I had a little tip here I wanted to share with everybody that I came up with that I like to use. And uh, what it is, is it's a basically a fire building tip. And uh, it's something I like to use when I go out and do stuff, you know, camping or whatever. Anyway, this is what I did. I went out and got wax paper, and I'll explain in a little bit the purpose of wax paper as opposed to other things. $1.33 at Walmart for a 75 square feet, 75.7 by 11.9 inch roll of wax paper. Okay. What I did was I took two chopsticks from the local <laughs> Chinese food restaurant and I laid that paper out and I just taped these chopsticks. I don't know if you can see that very well. But uh, I basically just taped the two chopsticks into the paper and then I rolled all that paper that was on the roll onto a smaller, more tightly compact roll, okay? What I do after that is I keep this in my backpack, all right? I take in this, this is a protein shot tube or I call it a tube vault alternative and I just stick my paper in that tube like that, I had to drill a little hole in the end, get it to work. Anyway, I carry that in my backpack to help me start my fires, okay? And with that much wax paper out of one roll, I got two of these things, see? And I had to trim it down to fit, obviously, but you know, I don't know how many fires you can start with that, but you can, you know, for a dollar thirty-three, you can make a hell of a lot of fires with just a little bit of wax paper. And the best thing about wax paper is it doesn't get wet. You know, cold uh, temperatures don't affect it. High temperatures don't affect it. Uh, it lights like freaking gasoline when you light a match or a or a flame to it. The reason that I put my wax paper in it in this little tube. Is to basically just protect it. See there, you don't have to worry about it getting all crunched up in your pack. Uh, it's always, you know, protected from getting messed up. And plus, you know, it's just nice and organized. You can take it out. You can take off as much as you need. Roll it back up. Put it back in the tube. Put it back in the pack, and you're done. What we're gonna do is we can take some of this wax paper. All right. I'm going to start a fire with it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to wad up some of this wax paper. Just like that. Okay. Alright. For the sake of simplicity, I've already worked up some small stuff. We're just going to lay those right across there. Just like that. I'll move the camera once I actually get going here but just I'm gonna scatter some little stuff and this is only one way to do it there's several ways to do it but this is the way I'm doing it this is one demonstration okay we're gonna check out how this uh, wax paper works righty now this particular case we're using a lighter that's one of the easiest ways to go Watch this take off. Look at that. Quite impressive. It's cheap, it's light, compact, you can carry it anywhere on your pack, in your survival kit, anything. And that is wax paper as a fire starting tool. Thank you for watching.